Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to load data in the final layer of our data lake house which is DW. We will load the date dimension today. On my screen you can see the process that we are going to follow to load the data in the final layer. We are going to read all the data from the staging table. Since that's the overwrite table, we will read all the data from the staging table. In the next step, we are going to populate the surrogate keys. And the third step, we are going to cast the proper data types and add any necessary audit columns. In the fourth step, we will write the data in upsert mode. Since the date dimension is SCD1, we will write the data in update or insert. In fifth, we will update the job control table. And in the last step, we will generate the required simulink manifest file. As this is the first load, we are going to use 2022.0101 as the run date. This is the IPython notebook that we are going to run to load the data in the date dimension. We will run all the cells one by one. First, we are required to import all the required libraries. As you can see, we have also imported the required utilities. If you haven't seen our utilities video, I would recommend you to go back and watch our playlist for Data Lake House. Let's import the required libraries. Next, we have to get the run date. The get run date function will read the run date from the runconfig.txt file. Our schema name is edw, the final table name is dim date, and we will read from the staging table edw stg dim date stg. Next, we will generate the Spark session. Our Spark session is generated successfully. Let's set the required configs now. Now, let's read the staging data. Since the staging table is loaded in overwrite mode, we don't need to set any filter. We'll be reading all the data from the staging table. We have 729 records from the staging table and this is the schema for the data that we are reading from staging table. Let's validate the data. As you can see, the data is properly written in the staging table and we don't need to modify much of them. We'll directly load this data into the final layer. Now the only missing piece is to generate the surrogate key. We can cast the date in the format of yyyymmdd to generate a unique row width which would add and act as a surrogate key for us. Let's add the surrogate key and run this cell. Let's validate the data. This is the data which we will write in the final layer. Now we are going to insert the data in our table in SCD1 mode. Before writing the data, we will check whether it is a full load or not. For this, we will use our utility function get max timestamp. If the value is a low value, it means it's the first load. In that case, we will truncate our table and will load the data. We will delete all the records from the dimension table and will vacuum the data for Delta Lake. Next, we will write the data in upset mode. We will use the existing date dimension table and our temporary table and will join based on the natural key which is date. We will update all the records that are matching and will insert all the records which are not matching. Let's execute this cell. Our data is inserted into the table. Let's go back to S3 and check the data. This is our date dimension table. Let's refresh it. As you can see, the data is written here successfully. Now let's insert the execution status inside the job control table. The job control is written. Now let's validate the data. Okay, the data is present in the job control properly. Let's run the delta table matrix to see. 729 records which is same as that we have written in the staging. We can generate the symlink manifest now. The symlink manifest is also generated successfully. 
before terminating the Spark session, let's validate the data in the final table. As you can see, the data is populated properly into the date dimension. We have row it, which is the surrogate key. We have date, day, month, year, and all the required columns. Run date, which is the audit column. Insert date is the date when the data is inserted. Update date when the data is updated. Now let's stop the Spark session. Today we completed the date dimension load into the data lake house. Now, if you have followed me through the landing, staging and dimension load phase, you would have understood how we have broken down the pipeline into multiple phases. We first loaded the landing, then the staging and finally the dimension load. We will repeat the same process for other dimension tables as well. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.